I doubt many of you remember what occurred at the Paris Air Show earlier on this year. And to be honest, let's not reminisce about that right now, because very soon we'll be experiencing the 2019 Dubai Air Show. It may not be on the same level as the Farnborough or the Paris Air Show in terms of attendance, but there's absolutely no doubt about it that Dubai will definitely give us a few surprises. For all of those who aren't aware of what the air show consists of, it's one of the major events of the 2019 aviation calendar. Various manufacturers, airlines and other companies come together to share their announcements and products, and it's also a place for airlines to place various orders. So with the air show just around the corner, what can we expect? Well, Boeing recently announced that their focus will primarily be on safety, innovation and also partnerships. They'll be creating connections and I assume they'll be going in very heavy on their PR side, considering the state that they find themselves in regarding the MAX incident. Meanwhile, Airbus will be bringing their full product line and if the trend of the Paris Air Show is anything to go off, we can expect that Airbus will be quite strong. So Airbus will have at least one of each of its current aircraft on display this year at the Dubai Air Show, from the Airbus A220 all the way up to the giant A380. Moving up to the wide-body aircraft, Airbus will be bringing their own A330neo, the A330900. This aircraft will take part in their flying displays and this will be accompanied by the A350-900 which will remain on ground as part of their static display. They'll also have two A380s on display. One will be supplied by Emirates with the other coming from Etihad Airways. Now you may wonder why Airbus is bringing the A380 as they announced the end of the program in February. This is very surprising considering that they announced that they're no longer going to manufacture the plane. But Airbus believes that the second hand market for the plane is still very strong and they're gonna try and push a few orders. They'll also be gaining a lot more orders for the A321XLR as one of the main highlights at the Paris Air Show. We could see an increase in existing customers and also new customers potentially joining the A321XLR list. The A220 will also have a lot going on with a few potential sales in the bag. Now I'm not actually quite sure about this one because things seem to have died down for the A220 ever since the Paris Air Show, but that doesn't mean to say that it won't grab a few orders. Now in terms of Boeing, well they'll be featuring some of their tried and tested aircraft. This includes the 777 and also the 787 Dreamliner. The Boeing 777 will belong to Emirates and the 787 will be in Etihad colours. Although we are expecting an official reveal of the 777X, Boeing will be showing off the plane by a mix of virtual reality, in addition to a 777X mock-up. Now we can expect that the 777X to make its first flight very soon. Hopefully we'll be able to see it at the 2020 Farnborough Air Show. Now even though the issues of the 737 MAX are still ongoing, it's not all bad news as Boeing expects the 737 MAX to be recertified by the end of the year. While the dreams come true, Boeing 787 is expected to take part in the flying display, the other aircraft will be on static display such as the 737 MAX and also a few 767 freighter planes. Now it will be very interesting to see how they handle the whole MAX business when they talk about increasing their promotion for safety. To be honest, if Boeing can walk away from the air show having convinced the people that their product is trustworthy, then I think they deserve a tap on the back even if they don't get a single order because it will help them significantly in the long run. Maybe we can expect a firm order for the 787-10 Dreamliner from Emirates because that's up in the sky also. I would however be a lot surprised if they ordered the 787-10 unless they want to signal no intention of taking the A33900neos or a change of plans for the A33900. If that was the case, then that's a fair bit of duplication or complexity within what used to be a simple flea. So overall speaking, what will actually happen? Number one, all of the eyes will be on the 737 MAX problems. Number two, the AV21neo, the LR and the XLR will get most of the eyes from the airlines. Number three, some orders for the 787 Dreamliner will be here and there and to be honest, most of the other manufacturers and companies won't get as much press. So there you go guys, that was an overview of what might occur at the Dubai Air Show this Sunday. 
I'm curious to hear what your predictions are and who you think will be the winner. Thank you so much for watching captains. If you want to donate towards the channel which will help bring better content, then visit the PayPal link in the description below. Any small donations will be appreciated. Stay tuned for the next video captains and peace out.